short volume wall. So what you got here, right? A short wall. What happens is you have algorithm systems or computers, right? That will load up penny by penny increments and, and scalp essentially between three to five to seven to 9,000 shares and they'll lock it up in a short position. So this is where the SSR rule comes into play. And some people think it doesn't matter, but it does because it prevents this from happening. So when the SSR is not in, in place, you can short on the uptick. Meaning that you can short it on the ask. You can slap the ask, baby. And uh, when that's in, when, it's, when the SSR is in place, you can't do that. You have to slap the bid or, or hit it on. Oh, I have that backwards. My bad. You can slap it on the down tick and not the uptick. So the down tick is the app. The uptick is the bid, right? So if you can hit it on a down tick, let's say that the price is at thirteen ninety five, right? And it goes up to fourteen bucks. Well, they can have essentially ten thousand shares locked and loaded short, and they don't have to meet a buyer. It can go bam, hits fourteen bucks, ten thousand shorts go down into the market, and it drops the price back down to thirteen ninety five or who knows what, right? So you got to go through penny by penny by penny by penny walls of short shares. And we saw that the entire day today and it reflected on the price action, man. I mean, you look at the price action, we barcoded literally one or two cents below $14 for probably two thirds of the day today. And that was because of short walls. My hypothesis, my reasoning for that being, they were trying to prevent the price from closing over $14 to have another 30,000 call options expire in the money at that $14 strike price. But we saw that happen, man. And I'll tell you what, that was frustrating to watch. That was insanely, insanely hard to watch. I mean, the last 10, 15 minutes got insane. I don't know if you guys went crazy watching that, but I sure did. My right. live stream was going nuts. I had like 21,000 concurrent viewers watching that going absolutely ape mad. So wow. it was it was tough. It was tough. Was that your top 21,000? That's the most I've ever had at one time, man. That was insane. Dang. Okay, so everyone was watching that AMC price action. I'm sure over on Matt, they were watching the GME price action. Uh, Probably, it, yeah, yeah. In that sense, give us give us the skinny. Is AMC, uh, has the hedge funds done what they wanted to for AMC, closing below $14? I think there is a win here, right? So maybe necessarily we didn't win the battle today, right? We didn't close over 14 bucks, but look at the big picture, right? On the last two weeks, we have gone, let me look at the weekly candles. Weekly candles, we have gone from a close of 805 to a close of 11.16 to a close of 13.93. Week by week by week, we are setting higher lows and higher highs, which is exactly what you're looking for to set up a good game for the stock. And what I think they did today was piss through a lot of dry powder trying to hold the stock price down. Um, I think maybe we lost the battle per se by closing under 14 bucks, maybe. But even look at the big picture, how much money and how many shares did they, did they short in order to keep the price at 14 bucks. I mean, even best case scenario, if they scalped, if they immediately bought those shares back, you know, from 14 bucks down to 1398, how much money did they really make? I mean, I, I just don't see any way that we didn't come out on top there. I think they spent a lot of money to keep the price down. And I'm excited to see what uh, comes up in terms of short volume today. I'm actually gonna check the daily short sale volume website that I have uh, bookmarked and see what we got rocking and see if it's up 19th, uh, see if it's up right now. 19th, not up yet, but I'd imagine it's gonna be a pretty high number. Uh, this is uh, Trace Trades giving us his thoughts about whether or not uh, 1390 was a lose condition for us and a win condition for the Hedgies. And we have Max Marr on the show as well. What's going on, Max? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Three My, son, Max. My son, Max. Yeah. My son, Max. Hey, Dad. <laughs> How are you doing, my boy? I missed you. Can you start paying your child support again? <laughs> I'm behind, man. I don't, I don't make enough for that. I don't make enough for that child support. That thousand a month is way too much money. Thousand dollars? You scout, oh, dude. You're killing him over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Okay, I'm playing. Well, in that sense, hey, what's going on, Max? Were you following the price action as closely as Trey? Trey, I heard everyone uh, saw you flip the table when the. AMC uh, struggled at 14 almost all day and then started to slide at the last second. Uh, Max, how closely were you following? Towards the end of the day, I wasn't following too much. I had a whole bunch of work I needed to catch up on. So I am uh, ready to learn a little bit about what happens, conspiracy theories, some uh, whatever you want to tell me. Let's hear it. Well, uh, we just talked about... Uh... We just talked about short walls, but Trey, give us the, the skinny just like really quickly for Max and just in case anyone else is just walking on through. We uh, we have 5,100 people just chatting it up in here, uh, having a smooth for hold them in time here. Uh, I'm going to add Max's name to the uh, description while we do that. Trey, what's going on with a short wall? So the short wall, we didn't have the SSR in place today, meaning that shorts can short on the down tick, meaning they can hit the ask, they can slap the ask, they can, they can short above where the current market value is at. Versus if the SSR is in place, they have to meet a bid or a buyer. Now with that being said, 
they can load up, let's say 10,000 uh, shares at $14, one cent, two cent, three cent, four cent, 1405, up all the way up to you know, 1410, however high they want to go. And if the stock price hits 14 bucks, bam, you've got, let's say 10,000 shares that go short on the market and it drops the price back down. And that reflects on the stock's price action today. And it happened the entire day, or if you look at the level twos, they had, you know, five to 10,000 shares being shorted on the ask the entire day. Sellers across across the 14 to 1410 range, literally the entire day, and it, and it reflects. We barcoded between 1397 and 14 bucks for literally two thirds of the market trading today. And I believe that is why there's that short, that short wall. That makes sense. Yeah, we, it was just teetering right on that $14 price point. Every single time I looked at it, it was just bobbing up and down, bobbing. So it makes sense to me. Yeah, I saw you texting me during the stream today. You're like, that $14, though. I was like, <laughs> not paying it, Max. That was so frustrating. <laughs> so $14 yeah. is the price at which, um, how, did, did you, uh, off the top of your head, do you remember how many options would have been in the money? 29000 Okay. So that's options. So that's two. Uh, what is that? Two million shares. Three million shares, essentially. Uh, so twenty nine thousand times hundred shares would end up being. Um, let me. I'm so bad at math. Two point nine million, I believe. There you go. So all right, yeah. So roughly three million dollars. Uh, three million shares. Uh, at at four. $14 multiply that uh, how you will. I just bought uh, another 14 shares of AMC. I'm sure people are curious about how much you bought. You don't have to share with us, but I did that because every thousand dollars we raise for this charity drive, we are going to, uh, we're going to put our money where our mouth is. I'm going to buy another hundred dollars of Jamie and AMC. We haven't quite gotten all the way up to 4,000 yet, but I paid it forward, uh, bought $200 of uh, GME, which is just one share and 14 shares of AMC. Trey, you bought, right? People were, were spreading some FUD about you uh, either not buying or feeling feeling weak. Uh, mom spaghetti on your shirt. That's not the case. No, <laughs> I don't know where that. I don't know where the FUD's coming from, but I'm holding strong. In fact, I bought another thousand dollars worth of AMC today. Boom! I bought another thousand dollars of AMC on Wednesday. My total stake right now, I've got thirty six thousand two hundred forty four dollars, two thousand six hundred sixty five shares of AMC. And I'm not selling. Not at least a bit. I'm feeling just fine. You gotta keep a macroscopic perspective, you know? I mean, we're, we're week by week setting higher lows and higher highs and it's healthy growth. What I like actually, people don't like this, they'll say, the stock is crashing, it's over. And it drops like four or 5%. I'm like, <laughs> come on guys, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. In fact, I like that because it encourages more investors to get in because they're not worried about getting the rug pulled out from underneath them, you know? They're, you don't wanna buy into a stock when all it's doing is going up because then what happens if it comes down, when a stock goes up that hard, it goes up way, way, way too much, way too fast. It's going to do the same thing on the downswing. So, uh, I would have promised more. I would have pledged more, but I was expecting uh, more charity action. I wasn't sure, but uh, we we have, we made some pretty good progress. Four thousand uh, dollars. If you guys are wondering which charities we're going to donate to, is in the description down below. Uh, and uh, and a quick question about what people are probably thinking of is uh, how is morale? I feel like everybody in the chat is just feeling pretty darn good. Uh, what is the case for the 20,000 people? Were there any actually angry people on your chat uh, when this stuff happened? Like, hey, Trey, think, you know, darn it and stuff. You'll get those occasional people, man. But like those are those are the I don't want to say the paper handers, but there, there are people out there and I'll say it this way. And, and there's no hate whatsoever. I've got no hate in my heart. There's people out there that look for every opportunity where you could be wrong so they can point at you and say, you were wrong this whole time, even though it didn't close at 1401 or whatever it needed to hit, right? So get those $14 call options that expire in the money. But you can't cherry pick, right? There's going to be those people. I'd say the majority, 90%, 95%, 98. I don't want to say like 95, 95 to 98% of people, positive. There's positive vibes. I mean, I got a lot of good uh, hypotheses rolling through the... Uh, the chat while we were going afterwards for the last five minutes after I went on after, uh, you know, market closed saying, you know, I don't even feel like we lost. I mean, think about all the dry power they wasted trying to keep the price under 14 bucks. That just tells you, I mean, they wouldn't have shorted it so hard if they weren't trying to hold the price down. I mean, I look at GameStop. GameStop today didn't have near as much of that short wall action happening. They did it for about half the day. I was watching GameStop for most of the day. I mean, go back and forth, back and forth. And they would occasionally have that on the ask, but not like AMC did the entire day. The last two days, I would say, GameStop hasn't had that. So... I would honestly say they're trying harder to keep AMC's price action down, at least right now, than they have GameStop. I've seen it down the opposite side, right, where AMC is flying and GameStop's getting held down. But at least for now, last two days, they've been fighting AMC hard. They've been really shorting the crap out of it, man. Uh, oh, go ahead, Max. 
What do you think about the, the value in the volatility in that so many of the people who have been holding AMC, GameStop, have kind of been through the ringer here, up and down and sideways with emotions and the stock price. And now it kind of seems like the people who are still in it are the ones who can stomach the, the drops for the most Dude. part. No, you're, you're spot on, man. And I'm actually glad about that because, I mean, this process, as we know, is going to be a freaking emotional roller coaster. There's going to be ups and downs. I mean, there's going to be highs. There's going to be freaking mountaintops and, and valleys, like freaking troughs, down in the shadow realm troughs. And it's like <laughs> if we have to lose some people to actually hold on to where we need to get to go to, I'm okay with that, 100%. I mean, no matter what you do, you're going to lose people and you're going to gain people. And it's all about maintaining that sort of equilibrium through the highs and lows, about not being emotional about the the process. That's my thought process. I'm with you, man. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I, and I agree, right? This is why we always get scissors in the chat. You had every chance you wanted to get out, uh, and that's all we should say about it for now, right? Those of us who are currently keeping the chat positive, we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for keeping that chat positive. And thank these two, some scissors in the chat from Max and Trey coming on. This is after the, the, the time they need to be live streaming, and I really do appreciate it, you guys. You guys are bros. I'm happy to be here. Um, I mean, yeah, really hey, gang, can't man. Complain. Can't complain with AMC being 14 bucks. I and mean, let's just think back a month when it was at, what, $4.50 at a bottom? Yeah. Uh, well, that's what I keep thinking about, man. I mean, we've, we've really gone through some some great great growth. You're, you're spot on, man. You got to keep a macroscopic perspective. I mean, a month ago, we're up 200% for five bucks. You know, <laughs> that's freaking solid. I'm not mad about crazy. that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, What's your average uh, share buy in Trey? It was down on the sevens, and I've averaged up the whole way through. So now it's at nine dollars and thirty-eight cents. I'm up forty-four percent, oh. eleven thousand two hundred bucks. Bro, look, you still got a clean margin, though. I have. Oh, a, I'm happier that yeah. I have a lower average price than Trey's trades. That's insanity. I have a uh, nine dollars and seventeen cents. Hundred thirty shares. Not not a ton, but it's it's gonna get me uh, partially up there when the AMC moon. That's oh my goodness. The uh, Mo Monkeys, man. Mo Monkeys. Well, oh, man, my average is like ten fifty or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, when, when did you buy in for the first time, Max? Uh, it was a while ago. Um, was it on that first run-up? Yeah, on the very first run-up. Uh, so I bought in a little bit at like eight, nine bucks, and then I added a bunch when it was at like eleven fifty or something like that. And that's kind of what floated me around that that high ele or low eleven, and then kind of averaged down to mid tens, and that's kind of where I've been sitting ever since. I think there was a lot of people in that sort of situation where they bought on that first run up and they had to average down the whole way. And those are the people, man, that have some freaking diamond, uh, diamond, diamond nards. They're they're yes. in it for the long game because they were able to sit in their portfolio where it was red for literally two straight trading weeks, like ten straight days at five bucks down. Who knows how much? Thirty percent, forty percent. That's those are the people that are like, screw it. I'm fine with a one percent drop. You can't you can't beat me down more than I was already beat down before. You know.